Hello, my name is Peder Norby. I'm the developer of Destroy Pix, a new glitch painting application where you can actually use your finger and paint in glitches on the photos on your phone. It works on iOS and Android and you can make some really cool stuff with it. And now I'm going to show you how to use it. The first time you run the app, uh, you will get this start screen where you hit destroy. And you will also have to agree to the app uh, accessing your photos. Then this might take a few seconds, then you should get to a screen where you can select a photo. Okay, so here I've loaded a photo of the Swedish Opera House. It's not a super good photo, but one of the cool things with the app is you can, as long as there's something good about the photo, you can keep that and, and distort the rest kind of. Uh, as you can see, I'm using two finger touch to zoom and pan the image. And I can zoom in really far to start to see the pixels. Um, so the first thing I'll show is the effects menu. It's really small. There's just a few things here. I'm going to add more stuff here for sure. So I can flip the image vertically. I can flip it horizontally. There's an effect called Soink, which can be pretty cool sometimes. Uh, but I'm not going to apply that here. Instead, we're going to go into the brush menu and uh, you start with a repeat brush. Uh, so this here, you can see the brush size. There's a preview there in the middle of the screen, <coughs> how big it is. And with this, I can just grab a part and drag that part away uh, to create some really nice effects. Uh, I can also I can set the minimum distance so that it will at least have to go that distance before a new um, that part is copied in again. Um, and there's another thing I can do. Let me just start from the beginning here. Uh, so if I just hold down undo, it will go all the way back to the beginning. So I can lock this. Let's make it bigger. I can lock it, for example, vertically. That means it will only move up and down. I'll do that. Uh, so for this image, I don't really like the bottom part. So I'm just going to drag the top part down like this. And then I think it's immediately better like this. In my eyes, I mean, this is, <laughs> you know what I think. Um, uh, one interesting thing here about the brush size is you can see the size here. So this is the brush size I'm working with now and do that. And if I zoom out, the brush size remains the same. So now I'm working with a much bigger brush actually. So it, and now I can grab the whole image and, and move it. Okay, well, let me just redo this something like this. And the quicker I, I move, the, the longer the... Yeah, you will get different effects depending on the speed. So the speed of, of the brush stroke is also important. So this I kind of like a little bit. I want some more glitching though. I'm going to use the corrupt brush here and I'll make it much smaller. So the corrupt brush, as you can see, it kind of moves, it shuffles pieces of the image around, small, small pieces. And it's... it's um, sensitive to the direction. If I move just along a detail like this, uh, you will get one type of glitch. If I move across, you will get another type. So it, it matters which direction you're moving it. And there's also another move mode here called RGB, which will split uh, the different color channels, red, green and blue and perform the operation of those so that you get some nice colors coming out. Some nice glitchy colors. And when I'm happy with the image, uh, I can just hit export and it will save it to the camera roll. Okay, so now I've loaded a portrait image and I'll show you some other effects here or some other brushes, I should say. So the H-Sync, horizontal sync, is something that could happen on VHS recorders is that you would lose the sync signal and you'd get effects like this, which can look like really fun. You can also use it in a different way and just kind of 
take little sections and and the size here also works so I can go down and make some really sm tiny detailed glitchings of this. Uh, another, let me start from the beginning, another brush here is called Mosh, it's inspired by data moshing and it can be a really powerful effect. It can look really strange or really cool depending on how you use it. Uh, one thing to notice is that it's always working on the image as it was before you started this effect. So I can, so if I've lost a detail like this eye here, I can actually try and paint it back somewhat, you know. Uh, so this, you might have to work a little bit until you get something uh, that you like. But this, I kind of like this one. Uh, another thing I like to do with the Mosh brush is I, I like to combine it with the Corrupt brush because on its own, it's a little bit, uh, you can kind of see the edges of the effect, but I can correct this with the, with the corrupt brush. I can go in and hide all those edge artifacts that I don't like and just glitch up the image even more until, I'm, until I have something that I'm happy with. This is perhaps not my best masterpiece, but I think you get the idea. Here are some other images made with the DestroyPix app. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you will have some fun with this app. Goodbye!